Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Spider-Urban1 here, and uh, today we're going to be unlocking the Golden Crossbow. So, just as a little heads up, this video is being recorded on February 10th, uh, 2020, so I have no clue when this video is going to be coming up. If I had to make a guess, I would probably think the 21st. And hopefully throughout the last week, you've seen at least two or three videos because, well, Monday, well, the Monday for the week, I know I'm going to be uploading something because I'm probably not going to be uploading much this week. It's basically saying along the lines, hey, I'm not going to be uploading much this week, this and maybe two other videos or something for throughout the week. And then, so there hopefully should be a video on both to or both the 17th and today's video, or the 17th, 19th, and 21st, which the 21st is today. But today we're going to be unlocking the Golden Crossbow because even though I finished or started working on it on the 6th, which was a Thursday, I basically got it finished since I started working on it and since shoot, or er, since shipment and shoot house are both in here, you can basically vice versa between the two maps, whichever ones you need. So shipment for like headshots, shoot house for long shots. But obviously, by the time that this video is going out, I have no clue what the playlist is going to be like. I have no clue if we're even going to be getting like good maps or something because I haven't even started season two. Uh, as you can see... Battle Pass resets in 18 hours, which I already have the whole Battle Pass complete. But the thing resets in 18 hours, so there's some proof for you that this is not being recorded past the 11th or whatever. But at any rate, today we're going to be getting the Golden Crossbow, which this video has kind of happened pretty fast. But that's what happens when there's a double XP, double weapon XP, and double depot, or er, double deep. Double, double depot credits. Yeah, right. Now, double uh, tier skip, or double tiers. But today, as you can see, we're going to be unlocking the golden crossbow. And I have every single camo flage except for five crouching kills this time. Because I didn't realize it, but I thought that I was at like 40 out of 50 by the time that I was recording this video, or by the time that the game ended that I was playing. But I ended up getting five more than I probably wanted to. But this is just, but basically this five is just gonna guarantee, five of them is just gonna guarantee that we get them all done. And so yeah. And also I'll be going over the camos, saying what the easiest way is and stuff like that, but Anyways, so we're just going to be using this class, which is the XRK Will 100 pound uh, arm, I think. The TAC laser, the operator reflex sight, the FTAC speed grip, and obviously, which is a big one, is sleight of hand. Which the main reason why I'm glad that I'm getting this is now that this green dot is not is going to be going away. And then after I get that gun finished, um, I'm probably going to just work on this gun, which I still need a ton more headshots. But I'm not going to worry about this because I honestly, I don't even I can take like two weeks off because I don't need footage for another two weeks. So that thing and the Holger aren't going to get finished anytime soon. So anyways, we're going to play this. And then probably after this recording, I'm going to go downstairs, get something to eat. And then I might come back upstairs and play some Lego Avengers. Because as you can see, I have the game. Or play Lego Star Wars. I don't know. Thinking Lego Star... or Lego Avengers might be better. Because I'm almost finished that game. And then I might re-go through it. And try to see how you unlock characters and stuff like that, you know? But anyways... Yeah, we're probably going to get this finished, this game. And 
even though I've had fun with this crossbow, because after I got Damascus on everything, then I started using the crossbow, and I just went like, dude, this thing's a breath of fresh air, because basically at the time, I was getting sick and tired of using, like, weapons and stuff, and just going for their camos, and it got to a point where I just started getting sick and tired of having to go for these camos, and then after I got Damascus, then the crossbow came along, and for some reason I found this thing to be very fun. But today, when I was trying to go for all of those double kills, and somehow I got the three kill streaks done all on shipment. I didn't even try to do that, but apparently I did. But, um... So, then... It was just a rage fest, because half the time... I'm just gonna admit this right now. Half the time that you see double kills show up, they're not gonna have counted. And it's so sad to say that, but it's so true. Because half the time I was getting double kills, like, I thought that I had them finished for that game. Or for that... I had thought that I had them all finished that game. But no. Like, I thought that I got, like, three or four one game. Nope. I apparently only got, like, ten or... Like, sorry, I thought that I got three or four, and I got ten somehow. No. That didn't happen. I thought that I got, like, nine or ten. Or three or four that one game. But it ended up turning out and being that I only got, like, six or seven kills. And that should be it. Yeah. Oh. Unlocked, which now we can use like a Damascus crossbow. All right, now we're gonna switch to this and go for headshots. Oh yeah, that's golden Damascus crossbow. One of the first, or our first start to getting the uh, DLC weapons done, I should say. But yeah, like half, like, I thought that I got like five or six one game. It ended up turning out that I only got like, I don't even know, like, one or two maybe at most. It's really stupid. It's the exact same thing that would happen with the, uh, freaking riot shield. Going for the double kills on the riot shield, which is why I can see that they changed it, but going for double kills on the riot shield. Dude, that thing was even worse. Like, it's the exact same thing, but with the crossbow, you at least have range. And that's what's good about the crossbow. Which, for some reason, I'm actually getting headshots. I don't know why I wasn't... Well, I know why I wasn't playing hardcore for headshots, because... Basically, you can get a one-tap to the head, instead of having to waste an entire magazine. Or, well... A third of a magazine just hitting somebody's head, you know? But. Yeah, it. The amount of double kills that you would get was about the exact same rate that you would get double kills with the freaking. Um. It's the same rate that you would get double kills with the riot shield. Which, Riot Shield, if you didn't have to do the double kills for the Riot Shield, which you're very lucky. Because I think I went for the Riot Shield a little bit too early, but I wanted to get it rid of the most hardest thing done first. And so I did, but those Riot Shield double kills basically didn't happen often like half the time it would say double kill but you were lucky if it even counted <laughs> at some points it was really it was really starting to get stupid but at any rate there's the game done <laughs> Yeah. 
But those double kills just... If they don't happen, they will eventually happen. Like, it's really stupid. And now that I have this done, I'm probably just going to play something else after I come back upstairs. Oops, nope. Here's green digital crossbow. And then we got good old gold camo, which happened pretty fast. And then here's platinum. Ain't looking half bad. And then here's Damascus, which we can actually equip. <laughs> but yeah, here's the Damascus crossbow, which I know Jev already has it. He said it for like a week or two now, but still. Anyways, as far as easy camo challenges go, there are a ton of things that you need to use. Like, there are a bunch of different classes that you need to use. This is probably the best class to go for double kills with, but... Essentially, 450 kills. Just kill 450 people. Pretty simple. 60 headshots. Um, so, I was going for headshots throughout the golden... M13 to Golden AK47 video, so if you want to know how I was getting headshots, just go and see that video. But essentially, I was just using the Scout Combat Optic, and then eventually I switched and started using this. And I played Shipment and just aim for people's heads, essentially. But nine times, like five times out of ten, you're gonna end up hitting them in the head at any rate. So it doesn't really matter. You don't have to deliberately go for headshots. Go for them if you just wanna get rid of them, but eventually headshots will happen and then you can focus your time on something else. Uh, green digital, obviously I'd suggest using double time, which I was using EOD for some reason, but suggest using double time. Just crouch whenever you know somebody's gonna be near you. That type of thing, you know. Um, dragon kills, kill enemy in a single shot. <clears throat> I found that this thing gets hit markers on the leg, which is kind of funny, but... So, like, sometimes you might get a hit marker if you're shooting below, like, the waist, I'm pretty sure. But if you're shooting above the waist, then you're good. And I'd also, for these one-shot kills, do not use any of the bolts. Or... Don't use any of these bolts because most of these bolts will result in hit markers. And then essentially, like, you'll get a hit marker and then the bolt will go off and then it'll kill the person. I don't know if that counts. Um, I was just hitting people with the bolts themselves and just regular bolts, and that seems to have worked for me. But if somebody wants to try it out and see if those bolts actually do work. Like, as long as you hit the person and then they blow up, I don't know if that counts. Or if you use a thermite, which you won't have unlocked by that time. Uh, 150 using all attachments. If you want fast and efficient, definitely recommend using this one, this class. But the only problem is the bolt velocity is down one. But honestly, it's kind of better off just to use this class, especially if you want to get like a bunch of the, um, kills done with all attachments, if you can create that class. 50 long shots. Basically, either used this scope, this scope, and then I started using the Merc Thermal and essentially just played Shoot House. And for long shots, I definitely recommend this 200 pound arm. Uh, the 28 strand cable. The. No, no, no. So I just recommend taking off either the speed grip or the tack laser and then putting on this 28 strand cable. Because everything in bolt velocity will basically help you in order to get, like, the bolt traveling faster and more straighter which is what bolt velocity does and then essentially it'll reach the target faster and it'll be more likely on wherever your crosshairs are so 
That's the easiest way that I'd recommend going for those. I played Shoot House while Shoot House was still active, but um, honestly, if you don't have Shoot House active, I don't know if Ground War is any good for this. Like, it's the exact same uh, long shot ranges as like these assault rifles, which I think is 38 meters, since it is also a uh, marksman rifle, and marksman rifles are 38 meters, so. I don't know, but sometimes you won't get that many long shots per game, and then the random other times you'll get like a ton per game, so it just really all depends on what's happening. Uh, 50 kills while mounted. If you wait on doing the long shots and you have shoot house available, uh, then I'd recommend just waiting because eventually you can just pair these two together and do them. But if you've already finished long shots and you still need mounted kills, honestly just mount around the map or hope you get shipment or shoot house and then just mount around the map. That's honestly all that I can say is just mount around the map. <laughs> uh, for stripes, so 25 double kills. If there is a small map playlist, Play that playlist. <laughs> this is going to be the easiest tip that I can give you for this friggin' challenge. Because there is no easier way. Like, honestly, if they change this to two kill streaks, then instantly get those. Try to get instantly just get those done. Because if they do end up changing it back, then just try to instantly get them done. But with double kills. Oops. But with double kills, this thing's not that good at double kills. Like, you essentially need to use either sleight of hand, or while I was playing shipment, essentially if I shot somebody, died, and then shot somebody else, usually that would help, because it just cancels out the reload, minus the fact that you've died, so... And since shipment, it usually spawns you up right next to an enemy at any rate. So if we're going to play that, and then double kills will happen. But I don't know if there's any way that you find in particular that helps to get these double kills done. Definitely just comment them down below if you're getting them done after shoot house and shipment are gone. Maybe I think Rust might be a good map to go for double kills because I know that's coming back. And that map's usually pretty small, so... I definitely feel like that could be pretty good, but we'll just have to wait and see till tomorrow. Because obviously Rust isn't currently out yet, but it will be soon. And I don't know though. If you don't get these done during shoot, <laughs> if they randomly bring back shipment for a week, grind this friggin' thing out. And then just do long shots wherever you want. <laughs> 75 kills without dying. Or 75 kills without dying. Yeah, right. 75 kills with no attachments. Just take off your attachments. The thing's going to feel funny because the bolt might not exactly hit the enemies as fast as you might think. Or the reload speed's obviously going to be slowed down. Or the freaking... Um, friggin, uh, what is it? Bolt might not be as fast. Or, like, a certain map might not be there. I don't know what I was trying to say. But, and then just take off all your attachments and just get 75 kills. And now the three kill streaks without dying. Honestly, I didn't even pay attention to these and, and they happened. While I was going for the double kills on shipment, somehow they just randomly all happened. Or, well, like, I was playing one match, I was mainly just going for double kills, and somehow I got all of these finished. Because sometimes you find that you just stay alive with this thing. I thought that the three kill streaks and the double kills and long shots were going to be the hardest things. Long shots weren't half bad, double kills, total hell. And then skulls just randomly, honestly, just randomly happen. Like, I was more focused on these, and this was building up faster. <laughs> like, I was going for double kills deliberately, 
and the three kill streaks were building up faster. So I don't know what I'd recommend playing. Like obviously if you have a small map, maybe that might help. Or if you don't like smaller maps because like the reload speed's really bad, then just play like regular team deathmatch or something. Please, just whatever you do, do not put yourself into hardcore with this thing. Randomly I saw this thing on uh, Reddit for crossbow long shots because this guy was having difficulties getting them. And randomly in one of the comments, I or in one of like the replies or whatever, I saw somebody suggest going into hardcore because he thought that that might be the fastest way. And it's not going to be. Hardcore and the crossbow just do not mix. The thing's already basically a one shot. So do not go into it. It's just like going into hardcore with an HDR. There is no point. The HDR is already basically a one shot kill from basically everywhere. So why use the thing in hardcore? <laughs> just so then you can guarantee it's a one shot, but it's not worth it. Just play. Just do what you can and just try to get them done. That's all that I can suggest with these camos is just try to go for them. Like some of them might be easy. Some of them are going to be hell. But like double kills and skulls might be like the most hardest with long shots coming in a close third. But honestly, to me, it was double kills, long shots and then skulls because skulls just basically kept on happening. Like, I was going for these, and I was getting, like, two or three of these per game. So it just, like, it just randomly basically happened, and I got them. Which is really weird, but anyways, that's really going to be it. If you can use this class setup, I definitely recommend using it, because it's, like, the fastest that this thing can go. Besides if you use, like, the stock, because you like the iron sights, but... I just personally recommend this class setup, or really any site that you like. For some reason, I didn't mind this VLK scope, even if I was playing on shipment, because this thing, like, I don't know, I kept on missing my shots, and I felt like the further range scope just helped me do my shots easier, or something like that, basically. But this thing, it just takes time if you don't have, like, a small map. <laughs> So just work on the thing, and eventually you'll get it done, which is going to lead to the ending of this video, which I guess I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. If you have, definitely don't forget to leave a like. Definitely comment down below on what else you'd want to see from the channel, whether that be more of this game, whether that be more of anything, or if it's a new game that I do not have, then just comment it down below and we'll see if I can do it, or and we'll see if I can bring it out. Um... As far as the barracks goes, I'm just not going to try to get these done because I don't really care, to be completely honest with you. Like, sure, it's cool to have, like, them all finished, but I'm not going to put myself through playing through basically eight matches of Search and Destroy and hopefully winning all eight of them because it's just no point. Like, the one-shots with snipers... And then the 20 amp skills is pretty simple, but I'm just not going to do them. Because I don't really care at this point. I kind of just want to take a break from this game. But with Season 2 starting tomorrow, I'll obviously probably start playing that. I don't know if I'm going to do the same type of a video that I did. Like, this is Season 2 in Modern Warfare. I might just do that for, like, the Wednesday video. And then if I don't end up uploading it, then I'll just upload it the Monday that I return. Because next week, aka this week, basically off from school, so I'm not going to really upload anything. I'll probably do the same type of video. This is like Season 2 in Modern Warfare or whatever. And so, yeah. And also definitely do not forget to subscribe for more to come out into the future because you know with my channel there always will be and definitely turn on the notification bell so then you know whenever i upload a video part of your favorite series 
or just a video in general because I try to post as often as I can and when I can and we're not gonna stop this grind going if I can get to 100 subscribers then I'll try to do that <laughs> essentially so yeah but I guess guys it's been me spider Man one and I guess that means that this is the ending of this video peace out